Oh, this is going to be a good one. Bitcoin hit our final harmonic target at $71,400. I have actually taken a short trade from that. So now in this video, I want to be explaining why I'm in that short, you know, the exact reasons behind it and what I'm looking for next. Do I actually feel that we can put in a major lower high here, front run all time highs and head down to much lower levels? Or in fact, have we simply just gone a back test of the range point of control for continuation? I will explain all in this video. As always, I'll be sharing with you my insights into the charts and how I come about these opinions. And actually as well with that, sharing that knowledge that I have of trading and just getting you prepared, getting you prepared, going you and showing you the most important levels. And you cannot deny that I am sharing with you the most period important levels on these charts. So let's get into it. As always, I will be telling you exactly what I'm looking for next and that prediction. But I want to start off with you building up some context because it has been a while since my last update. This was eight days ago since I've done a last YouTube video and a lot has happened since then. So let me get you up to speed very quickly before I explain exactly what I'm looking at next. So really simply, at the time we had this harmonic in play. We had a very important level at $69,000 final update uh, target of 71,400. In the end, this was very nice indeed because I always enjoy it. Well, uh, when I say trade the reaction if there's no reaction there's no trade we went 60 through sixty nine thousand dollars like butter and that's what i mean there's no reaction we just went boom straight through it and then we even had a lower term time frame back test as support before we got that continuation to $71,400. Of course, it's been eight days since I've done a last YouTube video. I am here every single day inside of the Discord for the champion members. I just want to share a few posts so you can get the insights behind this. Of course, we had, we all knew the harmonic target here around 71,400. And as my group uh, saw, you know, as we got through $69,000, it was very easy. As we were going for that back test, reminding my team, there's no shorts for me at all yet. Uh, 69,000 offered, no bearish reaction. I'm not going to short that. I'm only still remaining in my longs and I'm looking for that next target, 71,400. Why 71,400? It was the harmonic target that I gave you in that last YouTube video update. So I was just simply following the plan. As we come along, we hit that target, hit the final harmonic target. It was a short trade entry that I took for an aggressive short trade entry. Okay, but you had the conservative entry of waiting for a lower term time frame market structure change, which also activated. So whether you were aggressive, wherever you were conservative, the short trade should have been taken off of that harmonic target being hit and really simply the aggressive short trade reaction or the loss of market structure. Of course, then you have a few different options of your take profits on this short trade. So let me explain that very carefully. Once you've got this short trade, you can look for an acceptable take profit one, in my opinion, off of $69,000. It was a half important level. In the end, it didn't really evolve to much, but we know historically uh, it's been an important level. So you could have been more conservative with 69,000. Of course, then you're moving down to the range point of control, which we all agree is a, a very important level, which sits at around $67,000. Okay. And at this point, yeah, you, you would be hitting take profit one, but you can, of course, keep this trade going uh, all the way down to well, at that point, I would just refer to it as a trailing stop loss. There's no hard sort of final target. You would just trail the stop and, you know, let price or let the market show its hand, which is something I can touch upon very quickly as well. Right. Um, but yeah, at this point, you know, I, I did take this short trade in the time. I did take the aggressive short trade entry uh, while we were trading around that monthly 71400 My entry was $71,200. And I have already hit a take profit one, of course. Uh, why? Because we've made our way down here, which was a very important level. I hope that you can remember because this is nothing new. And we've been talking about it for a long time now. It is simply the range point of control. So we all know that sideways range that we've been trading, right? If I just hide this and remind you all... Because I hope you've not forgotten, uh, we had a really simple sideways parallel channel, right? And so within this sideways parallel channel, we got the fixed range on here to give us the volume levels. And after that rejection from the monthly up here, which was that higher term time frame pitchfork fork, harmonic target. Okay, we had that short trade. We've come back down and we've simply bounced off of the middle of the channel. If you look closely, that's a perfect back test of the middle of the channel, but also with that confluence of the range point of control. And if you've remembered and you've followed along even closer and you have good memory, you remember that not only, of course, we have 
got that short from the high we also had that long from the low right where in another youtube video update i predicted that we will come down and wait patiently for the failed auction for a long at around fifty eight thousand dollars again if you've been paying attention you are a very happy person right now because we took the long trade at the very lows on bitcoin after the failed auction decided to take the long trade again updating the champion members on the exact time and day i'm doing that took the long trades off of the failed auction looking for that rise to the upside we got that rise to the upside and where do we bump into as that final target it was yes the harmonic target so now i have a long from the absolute low based off of the failed auction and now i have a short from the high based off of the harmonic it's as simple as that i'm in a nice place why because i am prepared and i know exactly what i'm doing in this market uh so now i want to explain giving you all the context of why we've got lows, why we've got highs, why we've even got these internal bounces, exact precision, look at this, middle of the channel, range point of control. Okay, what are we looking at next? And this is where I want to do a very quick talk for you. Because I've already given this to the champion members in a live stream that I've done in the week, but I would like to, if you're a champion, I will reinforce the idea if you're not a champion member, hey, you can hear it for the first time. I think it's good information. And it's waiting for the market to show its hand. And I gave a talk how it's so similar, poker and trading. Okay, I think they are extremely similar. And back a few years ago, when I gave one-on-one -on -one lessons, uh, whenever I had a student come to me and wanted like private lessons um, and they were professional poker players, wow, like, they, they excelled. And I knew they would excel because they had their minds set right. And there is a very big similarity between uh, trading and um, poker in terms of your technical analysis, knowing when to remain patient, knowing when to go aggressive, okay, knowing when to like, you know, basically pull out of the market, pulling out of, of your hands, essentially, right? Uh, and you have to remain patient sometimes to, you know, see see the flop, see the, see, you know, see the river and see the cards, right? And what I mean by this is let the market show its hand to you. So if we are in a poker situation right now, <laughs> uh, and we are got a rejection from the harmonic target, we got a bounce from the range point of control, we have now come back up to around 50% of the move. OK, so what is a sensible idea for myself to do? I would say I will wait for the market to show its hand. Let's wait to see what the market wants to do. OK, so at this point, it is absolutely reasonable to wait to see if we can get a reclaim of the resistance here. And in that case, absolutely, the market has shown its hand and shown strength where we would have the highest probability of a new all time high to be formed. If the market shows its hands and gets a rejection here, another retest, and comes down and loses support off the range point of control, that is the market showing its hands and it's showing great weakness. And then we have very high probabilities of a further drop to come below $60,000. So we are at a crucial point of the market right now, extremely important. And again, if you have been listening closely if you are a member you are in a very fortunate position or could be of course there's no guarantees but you could absolutely be in the same position as me because i have given it out as information of where the long trade was at the very low where the short trade was at the very high again confirming to my team that is where the short trade was to be taken okay so if you are in this position uh, that you've got a long from the absolute low, $58,000. You've now got a short from the absolute high, around $71,000. It's so much easier to follow the best lesson of remain patient, wait for the market to show its hands. When we have high probability trade setups, we're taking them. We're taking longs at the low. When we have a high probability setup at the high, we're taking those shorts. When we are having to remain patient, we are sitting on our hands, waiting for others to play their hands, to bring us higher probabilities, right? In poker, the more cards that come down, the higher probabilities you have of your hands. And right now in the market, and from my trading perspective, you know, I have got my cards ready. I'm ready to take the trade. I want the market to show me a bit more data in terms of the order flow, in terms of the technical analysis and volume that's coming into this market. I want to show me if it gets a reclaim or a rejection a reclaim of that resistance slightly above us, right? Or a loss of the range point of control. That will increase my probabilities massively. That's where I will look to compound my next trade and make even more profits from this market.
Simple as that. I am showing you the predictions that I'm making ahead of time. None of this is hindsight. Everything was given out before it happened, right? Whether it was the shorts, whether it was the longs, everything was prepared and planned. We then just need to remain patient for those high probability trade setups, take them, and then remain patient at crucial times, waiting for the next hands, okay, the next rounds, and once again, let the market make its move first. We can then trade the reaction. We can compound heavily and look if we get that reclaim of absolutely, let's go for new all-time highs. If we lose the range point of control, let's go for $60,000 at least, right? And then lower. But at this point on this retest and a 50-50 point, literally 50-50 of from the high to low, we've come back into the 0.5 Fibonacci level. Why would I take a trade here in the 50% zone? I'm not going to do it. I will remain patient with my plans, my setups, and get ready for even more profits. I want to tell you this before I end. I am doing my live trading stream. This starts now tomorrow. I will go live. I will do my setups for Bitcoin. I will do my setups for the altcoins, explaining exactly why and where I'm entering. You'll see me on stream placing my limit orders. You'll see me on stream placing my stop losses. You'll see me on stream exactly exactly where I'm going to be taking my trades. And then week on week, you will see continuous progression and growth of my accounts you will see the wins that i take you will see the losses that i take this is full transparency full honesty and you know uh, i've done of course things very very similar to this in the past i've grown accounts i've started accounts i've i've done this all before but i want to do it again in an even more uh live trading-esque way because i feel this is the this is the future the other coaches are doing very well and you know i want to also just do the same and evolve in that regard. So it's just the way I'm going to do my streams from now on. So if you want to see the exact trades I'm taking, the exact wins, the exact losses, uh, full explanation, because of course I can explain my trades, I can show you, but hey, if you want to actually see the PNL, if you actually want to see the position sizes, if you actually want to see those hard, cold numbers and facts of these trades, you can do it. I've got no reason to be scared of that, and I'm going to be doing it starting tomorrow on the Sunday live streams. These winners that I'm taking, hey, well, you're going to be able to actually just enjoy those profits, okay? Uh, and so I'm going to have a very fun time doing it. And uh, I think you're going to have a very, very good time watching my live trading streams. As uh, simple as that. So yeah, thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. And yeah, that's how I got the short from the highs. That's how I got my longs from the absolute lows. Now I go from that poker perspective of let me see the markets next hand. I know with high probabilities how we can get to all-time highs on the reclaim. And I do know with high probabilities, a loss of the uh, midpoint here is very big weakness. Again, at that point, I understand. I'm happy to see the market rise to all-time highs. I absolutely am. I would love new all-time highs on Bitcoin. And I also know the weakness to prepare for lower. Okay. Final words, we are traders, we are professionals, we can trade the market up, we can trade the market down, we are here to make profit, get in, get out. Simple as that. If you want to be doing that, if you want to be a champion, you know where to be, chartchampions.com. All the education, all the live trading, and that's our focus from here on out, the live trading, the transparency, the honesty, and you can just see for yourself the winners, the losses, how we manage this uh, every step of the way. I think you're going to absolutely love it. And uh, we're going to have a very good time giving it to you too. So cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much. And I will see you in the live trading tomorrow. Do not miss it. Thank you ever so much. And have a good one. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs>